Okay guys, today we're gonna do part two of the application problem. Actually, it is application problem A2. So I'm pulling it up in my textbook. And here it says, use the general ledger accounts for Rosemont Copy Center from problem 8.1. A form to complete the post-closing trial balance is given in your working papers. Prepare a post-closing trial balance for Rosemont Copy Center as of June 30th of the current year. So I had previously started this, then decided to do it with you. So first part is the who, what, and when. So we have Rosemont Copy Center as the who, post-closing trial balance as the what, June 30th, 2022 as the when. Um, then we go on and move through the general ledger accounts what we did in application problem 8.1. I'm going to close this. You need to do the application problem accurately in order to get the accurate numbers here. So make sure you complete that. And I did post a previous video about application problem 8.1. So I started with cash, debit balance of 8,715. Merk, work my way down to petty cash. All right, petty cash. And it's 75 debit, not 750, 75. Good, next one is accounts receivable. Yes, I would write out the entire thing. And I would even include the name Raymond O'Neill. And we find 642. For these, make sure you're going in order of the actual. Start on the page that says General Ledger. And then work your way through based on number order. That's how these will be organized. So 8-2 is now... Well, the next one is now Supplies. Mm, don't just randomly do this. There is an order to it. I can explain it then. Well, actually, if you notice, these are assets that we're recording right now. Of course, assets always come first. Um, it's just like the normal practice. So prepaid insurance. Debit 540. Okay. Now I go on page number order, 172, 173. So then we put accounts payable, accounts payable. Okay. And it's a credit of 268. Lots of the stuff we do in accounting is copy work. I want to make sure I include this guy. Western supplies. Then the last one, or the next one, we don't know if it's the last one, is Akbar Sharma Capital. Okay, just make sure you could see me writing. And we have a running balance there of 9,892. Okay, so you can see that. Started with the credit, this was given to us. Then we had another credit, so you add, then you had a debit. So you had to subtract. If it was, if this was a debit, you could add, but it's not. It's a credit, so you have to subtract, and we keep moving. Income summary closed out. Sales closed out. We can tell it's closed out by the line. Advertising expense closed out. That's why it's important not to just leave it blank, but to actually put the line through it. Closed out. Closed out. Closed out. Closed out. Everything's closed out. So. That is it. I will put a line across the bottom and I will add it with my calculator. I get 10,160 and I get 10,160. My bottom's line equal. I will double rule it because it equals 
there you go. You have your post closing trial balance. Look up here. These are all assets. This is a liability. And this is your owner's equity. There is that accounting equation. Assets, liabilities, owner's equity. Always in that order. There's no revenue or expenses on our post-closing trial balance. All right, good luck.